and today I'm going to be doing my first video game review, and that's for Friday 13, the game. After it happened, I expected someone to do something. I expected parents to show up with questions and concerns. I thought the police would have done more, but nothing happened. Nothing changed. Shh, quiet. Someone will hear us. They opened it again the next year, and they were back to their old habits. <laughs> Troy, did you hear something? Relax, babe. Probably just Steve trying to scare us. They're just kids, right? So was he. He was just an innocent boy. I was a good mother to him. My boy. My sweet, sweet Jason. upcoming uh, DVD update video because I did announce the game like I did announce that I got the game in that collection update so oh and before we start getting into this review actually like I know this is an online multiplayer game I have not played the online multiplayer yet I've only played the offline modes I played I've only played the offline mode so I'm just going to give my thoughts on the offline mode so yeah, basically this game is basically like an adult version of hide and go seek in a horror movie setting. That's really all this game is. And basically with the, there's the free offline modes you can do. There's offline bots and you can actually pick through different locations throughout the films. And also, once you pick those locations, you also get to pick which version of Jason you want. And it has uh, Friday 13 Part 2 with the sack head all the way through uh, Jason Goes to Hell, the final Friday look from Part 9. And also, uh, there's some bonus skins too, actually. Uh, first of all, the game actually does include uh, kind of bloody Jason looking skins and also uh, for the Friday 13 Part 3, Jason, if you click to change the skin, you actually get the classic NES Jason skin look. And honestly, that does look pretty cool. I am not going to lie. And each Jason, each version of Jason, like each version of Jason you pick, has both weaknesses and have both pros and cons to how you play him. Which, fun fact, uh, Jason in this game was actually motion captured by an actor, and that said actor was Kane Hodder, who portrayed Jason from Friday 13th Part 7 The New Blood all the way through Jason X. Which, another fun fact, I did got to meet Kane Hodder. So, he seemed like a really nice guy. Uh, I only got to talk to him for a little bit but he was awesome, so I would, I hope to meet him again at some point soon, actually get a photo op and an autograph in the future, so. And honestly, for the most part, the gameplay is actually kind of fun for a while. Sometimes it does get, like, really repetitive and kind of boring after a while, even if you're a diehard Friday 13 fan, but also, one positive I would have to say about this is that it does feel like the movies, so I'll give props for that. Also, this this video game was uh, developed by Gun Media. Oh, and there's like these cinematics where uh, there's some kill scene cinematics when Jason kills a player, and those kills and those death scenes was actually designed by makeup effects artist himself, Tom Savini, who again I've also met. And I'm not going to lie, the death scenes in this game are awesome. And yeah, for the most part, it is practically like playing the movies, for the most part. I 
do have some issues with this game though. One thing I did like about this game is that the score, the music score, was done by Harry Manfredini. He composed the score for all the Friday 13th movies, and it sounds like a Friday 13th movie score. It really does. Damn it! Fuck. 
Like, seriously, this is getting so annoying. Like, And there were certain points because, like, I was so upset by that, I literally gave up and just killed each and every one of them without even trying to do stealth. Because I was just so pissed with this game. I was like, Arr. Also, sometimes there will be button glitches, too. Like, there would be times I, like, tried to press on something to activate something, I don't know. And it's like, duh, ugh. Come on, just do it already. So I'm going to give Friday for Team the game a free out five stars. It's just okay, just like the original movie. It's just okay. There are some problems I have with this game and some stuff of this game that's like so frustrating. I just want to rip my ears off. And it's like, but I do appreciate they try to get close to the films and everything and have that vibe of the film and just how faithful it tried to be. I get that, but... This, and honestly, like, I feel like the game, like, the price of this game is way too much, especially since this was a, like, kick-started, like, Indiegogo crowdfunded, like, video game that was actually, like, independently made and was made for a low budget, because they're charging it for about, like, 60 bucks, and I'm like, really? Just for that? I mean, maybe charge it to about 20 bucks, which now at my local Walmart, it's now like on rollback for 20 bucks. Uh, but even for me, I think that's too expensive. Uh, sometimes GameStop would sell it for like 15 bucks. Uh, the pawn shop would sell it for that too. So for me, I found it on the Facebook Marketplace uh, for 10 bucks. And I went and picked it up. It was in brand new condition, so I was like, yeah. If it's $10, then yeah, I'll pick it up. But if it was like, if I couldn't get it for 10 bucks and had to spend the 15 20 $60 price range, I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. So yeah, if you could get the game for a reasonable price, get it. Especially if you're a Friday 13 fan. But... You can get it for a reasonable price and have to spend like the $60 range. Don't. Wait until it goes down in price or until you find like until you find it somewhere or from someone that you can get it for a decent price. Like I did. So that's it for this video game review. I may do more in the future. If you guys like this video game review, uh, click the like button below and also tell me in the comments what you thought of this video. If you want me to keep on doing more, please tell me there. I'll... If you guys do want me to make more video game reviews, I'll be happy to do so. This has been Joshua Myers. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.